Even though there are thousands of planes in the sky at any given time, there is a significant amount of preparation that goes into a takeoff before the flight even begins. The loading of the aircraft is always one of the very first things that airmen are required to keep in mind. It is widely acknowledged that the C-5M Super Galaxy is one of the largest aircrafts in the world. Because it can transport loads weighing more than 281,000 pounds, the loading process for airmen, such as those stationed at Dover Air Force Base, can take a long time. Both the front and rear doors of the aircraft may be opened, which was a design decision made with the intention of making life easier for the flight crews. Because of this, ground employees are able to load and unload freight simultaneously from both ends of the vehicle. The airplane was built with the capability of transporting a military force that is completely geared up and ready for battle to any location on the planet. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today, we'll be looking at why this US plane needs 28 wheels to land. Yeah, you heard it right. So, let's start our video. According to the Air Force, the plane was not only designed to complete this duty in a short amount of time, but it was also developed to deliver supplies that are necessary to assist in maintaining the combat force. However, because the C-5 was intended to carry such a substantial payload, the designers at Lockheed Martin were tasked with devising a method by which the aircraft could transport the cargo. The C-5 series of aircraft was designed to feature 5 sets of landing gear with a total of 28 wheels. The first aircraft in this series was delivered for the first time in June of 1970. It has a 6 wheel landing gear arrangement with 2 wheels in the front and 4 in the back. It also has 2 wheels in the front. It is able to rotate both when it is deployed and when it's not being used. The landing gear makes use of this mechanism that many airmen refer to as a swing in order to take up as little space as possible while it is stored. The landing gear is the primary component that makes the C-5 useful for a wide variety of missions due to its adaptability, primary function, and the fact that it enables the aircraft to carry substantial payloads. According to Lockheed Martin, ever since the C-5 was first put into service, it has been an essential component in the formulation of a national policy due to the factors listed above. Given the significance of the landing gear on the aircraft, it is absolutely necessary for the crew to do a pre-takeoff inspection of the landing gear. These examinations frequently involve analyzing characteristics like alignment, wear, corrosion, and bend parts or gears, among other things. In addition, inspections like swing tests are performed whenever there's regular maintenance or when repairs are being done. Before the aircraft may take off, this requires the landing gear to be retracted and a check to make sure that the aircraft is adequately supported. However, upkeep is no walk in the park. Before performing maintenance on the massive aircraft, members of the home station of the 167 airlift wings inspect my ability to load a nearly 300,000 pound C-17 Globemaster onto jacks. Once the aircraft has been suspended by a huge crew of professional maintainers, another team begins examination and testing of the landing gear. As with the C-5, the swing test is an essential component of landing gear maintenance. This permits engineers to ensure that the gears move as required for proper use of the landing gear. The 532nd Commodities Maintenance Squadron is the Air Force's premier gear overhaul center. According to the United States Air Force, technicians must maintain, repair, overhaul, or modify landing gear as required, making this a crucial Air Force profession. The maintenance squadron disassembles the landing gear so that technicians can examine all the components and quickly identify the problem. Checking for cracks and structural flaws, as well as confirming each component of the item, should ideally be one of the numerous jobs the specialist must perform. Inspectors then physically and mechanically evaluate each component of the landing gear, allowing for decisions regarding whether to fix, reject, or replace. Throughout this procedure, different techniques, including video measurement and rule scan, are employed to measure the components. Before being reassembled, the components undergo plating, grinding, and painting. Finally, the completed landing gear is distributed globally. The C-17 airplane as a whole requires maintenance and repair, just like the landing gear does, to remain in good condition. The C-17 Globemaster is a cargo airplane built for the rapid strategic delivery of soldiers and all types of goods for the maintenance of operating bases or deployment area bases. Because the aircraft is meant to be adaptable, it is essential that its components remain current and in good condition. The 305 Maintenance Squad examines if the aircraft is fit for flight. 
A pre-flight check may involve a visual examination of several aircraft systems. However, the 305 maintenance squad specializes in more thorough and extensive examinations. The flight controls are inspected as part of the aircraft's maintenance team's extensive examinations. The aircraft are inspected on a rotational basis every 120 days. When it's the C-17's turn, it is brought in for extensive inspections that its normal timetable does not permit. During the daily schedule of the aircraft, however, it is utilized for numerous missions. Depending on its objective and destination, the aircraft must first be loaded with goods or personnel before it can take off. According to the Air Force, the maximum payload capacity of the C-17 Globemaster is roughly 170,000 pounds, with a maximum gross takeoff weight of over 500,000 pounds. However, it is necessary to arrange cargoes before each mission. With such a high storage capacity, loading the adhesive master is difficult. Frequently, other ground and maintenance technicians provide assistance. The C-17 Globemaster uses vehicles to transport large equipment up a ramp and into the airplane. Once the cargo is inside the aircraft, it must be secured to prevent any movement during the flight. The C-17 Globemaster is one of the only few aircrafts capable of transporting the M1 Abrams tank. These extremely sophisticated weapons of war weigh over 60 tons and measure over 10 meters in length. And that's all for today's video. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments section down below. I hope that you found this video interesting and if you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the following video with some more of the latest updates and until then, stay tuned!